Come and fetch your stuff. So now the question is, last question for the kids before I talk to the moms and dads again. Guys, was that difficult or was that easy? Do you think it was easy, Laura? Moms and dads, do you think that was difficult or was that easy? Was it easy? I hope it was easy. Good. Because I'm, I'm, in my mind it was easy, but sometimes I get it wrong. So it was easy. So there you, you served in a very easy way. Okay? Didn't take you the whole day. Quick two minutes of serving as a family. So now the last question is, how does it make you feel to know that you have served someone? When you put that in the post box, you're going to have served someone and encouraged them. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? Are you just like, oh, well, we don't care. You feel nice, Laura. Okay, good. How do you feel, Amy? Okay, good, good. All right. I hope that everyone feels a bit excited about that. Like, feel like, yo, we did a good job. Do you feel like you did a good job, Dana? You did. And I know because we did what the Bible said, that Jesus is smiling when we serve because that's what he expects us to do. And I get happy when I make Jesus smile. Do you guys? Moms and dads, do you get happy when you make when your families make Jesus smile? Good. <laughs> okay, so you guys can carry on coloring in. I've just got a few things to say to moms and dads, all right? Uh, you can listen too, but you might get a bit bored. All right, guys? Okay, so really, I'm gonna, I've just got three or four things that I just, as I was thinking about the serving thing, I didn't want to make it all kitty-friendly. Um, in the reading that I've done about this, and in the reading that I've done for children's ministry, and, you know, just in life, really, there are a few things that I've, that I've realized about service, just from a purely social point of view. Forget about, forget about what the Bible says. Excuse me for that, but you know what I mean. Like, if you take the, if you take the Bible out of it, there are a whole lot of reasons why we should be serving. Because clearly the ultimate reason we should be serving is because God told us to. Let's leave the Bible right there. Okay? But if we move away from that as a command, then let's look at some other reasons why we should be serving. And the one of them is that statistics tell us that children who see their parents volunteer and serve are far more likely to volunteer and serve themselves as children and when they are adults. And so if we, as part of this body, want to see this body continue to grow and we want our children to be active members of a church body in the future, then we need to be demonstrating that to them now so that they can learn from us. Another thing is that um, serving is a habit. And habits don't just happen. Habits have to be practiced. And the perfect place to practice a habit, really, is at home. We can't expect children to be picking up the habit of service if we aren't showing them service and if we aren't allowed creating opportunities for that habit to be developed in the lives of our children. So that's another reason why we need to serve. We need to, um, and, and kind of tagging onto that, the whole idea of looking beyond yourself. Looking beyond yourself at the, at the needs of the world and the people around us is not a natural thing to do. And so we need to teach them to do that as habit. Otherwise, we do. We spend our entire lives wrapped up in our little cocoon of me, me, me. And I'm sure most of us, all of us, want our children to be beyond themselves. And so we need to give them the opportunities to create the habit of looking beyond themselves and their needs. And so that's why we need to be serving as a family. Also, the reality is that the generational theory guys tell us that children of our generation want to really believe that they can change the world. And... We need to give them opportunities to do that. And yes, that postcard might not change the world, but that postcard will change the life of the person who receives that message. Even if it is just for the minute that they read it. They will feel loved and they'll know that they're appreciated. And we, again, we start in that habit. We start in to let them think beyond themselves. We start in to give them opportunities to change the lives of people around them. And I think if we train them to do that, then who knows, this generation might be the one that really does change the world. Um... Yeah, back to the Bible perspective. If we allow our children to serve, if we serve ourselves, if we serve as a family, we give children the chance to see God in everyday situations. Because as we serve, we know that as we serve, as we do things for God, we grow personally, spiritually within ourselves. If our children get to grow, get to serve, they will grow in their relationship with God. And they will also have God moments. They'll be able to just see, look, God touched there. God was there. God was there. And if they can pick out those God moments, if they can see the world through God's eyes and see that God perspective, then Christianity becomes real to them. It's not just the dead religion that we do on Sundays. It becomes something that's part of their lives. And service is like a key for making that happen for children. That's one of the ways that the light switches on for our children to realize that being a Christian, living for Jesus, really does make a difference to them and to their world. 
And their faith grows, and our faith grows, and as a family we grow in our relationship with God. And so I think that sells service for me. Like I said when we did the blessing one, I was ready to go out and have a baby just so that I could do the blessing. I'm kind of ready to go out and gather a bunch of kids together so that I can see them seeing God in the world around them. I think that's such an exciting thing to be only part of that, to be only part of watching them grow, even in their faith steps. In the beginning, writing a little card might be a really scary thing because we don't know that person and it's a bit intimidating. But keep practicing that. Keep doing the service. Two or three years down the line, who knows what they'll be doing to serve and what you'll be doing to serve as a family. Because as you make yourself open to, to the promptings of God, to, as he opens your eyes to new things, you could be doing amazing stuff to change our world. And so, yeah, that's really it. What I would like to do now is I'd just like to pray for all of you. And then I have a little thing for everyone to take home and I need to explain that to you. All right. So perhaps if we can all just pray together. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the families that came here today just to spend some time thinking about serving and about what your, what your word says about serving as a family. And Lord, I pray for each family that's represented here that you will just continue to prompt them in their service, that you will grow them all in their faith and in their understanding of you, that you will create opportunities for them to impact their world. Jesus, we just commit them to you and ask your spirit will make service opportunities plain to them that they'll be blessed as they bless others. Amen.